Google just launched Anti-Gravity, an agentic IDE where AI writes entire applications autonomously. It's a fork of VS Code with agents that control your editor, terminal, and browser simultaneously. The public preview is free. Models include Gemini 3 Pro, Claude Sonnet 4.5, and GPT OSS. These agents plan tasks, generate code, test in Chrome, and produce verification artifacts proving functionality. The positioning targets an AI-first development future. Google claims developers will operate at the architectural level while agents handle implementation. No more context switching. Users can spawn multiple agents across workspaces, working asynchronously. A manager view orchestrates these agent fleets. The vision sounds revolutionary, but adoption tells a more complicated story. Technically, anti-gravity is sophisticated. Agents access the editor, terminal, and browser, breaking tasks into subtasks, running code, executing tests, and generating walkthroughs. The artifact system produces task lists, implementation plans, screenshots, and browser recordings. This verification layer builds trust by showing what agents accomplished rather than raw tool calls. The manager surface flips the traditional paradigm. Instead of agents embedded in sidebars, anti-gravity embeds surfaces into agents. A dedicated dashboard spawns and observes multiple agents, one fixing back-end bugs while another prototypes front-end features. Feedback tools enable iteration. Google Docs style comments on artifacts, screenshot annotations, plan revisions. Agents incorporate feedback and learn from a project knowledge base storing context and reusable snippets. Model flexibility prevents lock-in. Gemini 3 Pro offers generous rate limits. Claude Sonnet 4.5 provides different reasoning trade-offs, and GPT OSS offers open weight optionality. Users can switch models mid-project. Zero-shot generation demonstrates potential. A tester reportedly created a playable Thumb Wars browser game from a single natural language prompt. Anti-gravity planned, implemented, tested, and delivered a functional product. But let me tell you, let me let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Okay, sorry. Let me tell you something about those generous rate limits. Developers report quota exhaustion after 20 minutes of intensive use. Limits refresh every five hours. Some hit the cap after a single query. No options to view remaining credits or purchase more. The preview becomes unusable once you hit an invisible wall. Reliability issues are common. Agents looping, rewriting code bases unnecessarily, stalling mid-task, model overload errors, login failures, and regional access blocks. Security limitations are explicitly acknowledged. Risks include unauthorized code execution and data exfiltration. Google advises avoiding sensitive workloads, yet defaults grant broad autonomy. Pricing remains unknown. Team and enterprise tiers are coming soon, preventing long-term planning. Anti-gravity proves agentic development is real, but preview stage instability limits production viability. For now, Cursor and established IDEs remain safer daily drivers. Hey, Mark here. So look, I spend a lot of time investigating these products, and honestly, I'd rather not fill this channel with sponsored content from companies whose products I might end up roasting next week. That would be <laughs> awkward. If this review helped you out, saved you from wasting money, or maybe helped you find something that's actually worth buying, here are a few ways you can support what we're doing here. First up, I've put the link to this specific product down in the description. If you want to check the current price or read more reviews, click through there. And if you do buy through my link, they toss me a few pennies without charging you extra. Win-win. Second option, and this one's for all you regular Amazon shoppers, there's another link down there that just goes to Amazon's homepage. Bookmark it, use it whenever you shop. Doesn't matter if you're buying this product or just restocking on toilet paper. Using that link means a tiny portion of what you're already spending helps fund these investigations. And trust me, Jeff Bezos won't even notice it's missing. <laughs> it's the easiest way to support the channel without spending extra money. Now the third option is for those of you who need help right now. Like, you've got a product sitting in your cart and you're thinking, is this thing legit or am I about to waste my money? That's what our membership is for. Think of it like hiring me as your private BS investigator. For as low as three bucks a month, you submit products for urgent investigation, I do the deep dive, and deliver a personalized review to your inbox in 24 to 72 hours, depending on your tier. 
It's basically like having me on speed dial for product research. Except, instead of calling, you just send me the sketchy product and I'll tell you if it's worth your money or complete garbage. Alright, that's it. Keep questioning everything, and I'll see you in the next investigation, where we figure out what's actually worth your money and what's just expensive garbage with good marketing. Stay savage out there. Catch you next time.